so many conflicting emotions. They're not necessarily good emotions. But we'll get there. Yep. <laughs> Yubos! We the play Brent and Brushworks of YouTube. Can you tell? I'm so excited for this. This isn't even the first video I put up on my channel for this game, but uh, welcome to Pokemon Shuffle Mobile. We're doing a new game. Because I hate myself. That's part of it. Alright, well, hopefully this isn't like when I try to do Pokemon TCG. A uh, beta version. Unbelievable. Is that Ko? No. <laughs> Why, hello! You must be the new trainer! You're about to start out on a journey to meet Pokemon! I'm Amila! I'm here to cover all your progress and report it. Get used to seeing this face! Now, where are we off to first? Esper! I spy a wild Esper over there! Let's check it out! Click anywhere that is Esper's face and not anywhere else. It's finally time for your first bow, huh? Pretty exciting, yeah. No, it's really. Okay, I should probably get this off my chest. I have played too much Pokemon Scarlet. If you watch Splatoon 3, I made that perfectly clear. So why not play more Pokemon? Why, why the heck not? Look, I need to get done with this. I'm not looking forward to it, but I need to get done with it. This is something I played in my past. I spent countless hours and even more money when I had this on my 3DS. I'm going to try not to spend money this time because this game is not worth it. I'm going to try to remain as calm about this as I can unlike the other video. But this, by far, is my least favorite Pokemon game of all time. Why? It's Candy Crush. It's Candy Crush. It is sugar-filled Pokemon-themed Candy Crush. The Sugar Rush is gonna hit so hard the further in I go. And why I could preach and try to defend my viewpoint on this game I think actions speak better than words, but I will say this much. The very beginning of the game is tolerable. In fact, it has my most favorite song. So we're going to start off sweet and slowly, slowly, slowly get more sour. So one more thing. Do you see these heart things here? You're going to hate this. Every time you start a bow, you'll use up one heart. This time it shows how long before you regenerate a heart. So it's kind of like Pokemon Cafe Remix, where you can't play until you get enough hearts. But I will just say this much, Cafe Remix, at least you can earn more hearts. At least you can earn more chances to play more. This game? Nope. No, no, but you'll learn more about that later. Let's just try to actually get through the tutorial. So here we go. Aha! There it is! A wild esper! In a bow, please stop, plant shy guy. In a bow, line up Pokemon in the puzzle area to attack and reduce your opponent's HP to zero in order to win. Let's see what you can do. Line up a Pokemon in the puzzle area to attack Esper. Make a match of three of the same Pokemon in a row. How about that Pikachu here? I was actually hoping to do the Charmander since I could get four icons cleared instead of three. But you know what? You're the boss. If you move it here, you'll have three of them in a row. Again, Charmander would be four, but whatever. 
there. Although that did give me a good combo there. Oh, you pulled off a combo by making consecutive matches, so don't question me ever again. I forgot to mention one thing. Your remaining moves. Always pay attention to how many moves you have left. If you run out of moves, your opponent will give you the slip. With that in mind, let's use this Pikachu to end this battle. Alright, there we go. Wow, that was actually pretty good, though. You did it! Your opponent is out of HP and pretty weak. Got the move bonus 300,000 points. Sorry, I can read. Oh, but wait. You also need to catch the Pokemon. So this is your chance to catch it. This will make a great story. Yes. Its catch ability is max. This should be an easy catch. Tap the Pokeball and show me how it's done. Tap. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! The scripted capture worked. Beautiful! This is going to make a great report, thanks to you! So you must be thinking, yeah, no, this looks fun. Maybe even I'm enjoying it a little bit, a teeny tiny bit, but I'm not going to fall for it again. I'm not going to fall for it again. The further in you go, the harder it gets. To a point... Where if you, if you keep playing past the initial point where the game literally should end, you have to spend money just to play, just to win, just to have a chance of catching the Pokemon, which most of the time you won't even get that chance. This is an app that preys on you the more you try to play it. It may be free to play. I'm not going to read any of that dialogue. But it will siphon your very soul. The longer you play it, the further in you go. You'll be spending real world currency just trying to complete a puzzle. Forget the fact you might not even be able to catch the Pokemon, so you'd have to do the puzzle again. It's bad. It's bad, guys. It's bad. But, again, actions speak better than words, so let's just... Let me just try to get through the tutorial so I can show you what I mean. So, it looks like a new Pokemon has appeared. Well, let's catch that one, too. I clicked the Bulbasaur. But why don't you bring Esper along? So, let's set Esper to join you in the oncoming battle. I am trying, but she's still talking. That's your support. All set. Now, let's go back. If you're ready to battle, it's time to get started. It's not like I get to do anything else. But first, remember the coins you got? You can exchange them for irons before a battle begins. I don't want to do that. There are only two kinds now, but I've heard there are more. The items you get will all be great aid in battle. When you get enough coins, you might want to use them. So good luck out there. I forgot to mention this, and I keep... Okay, here's the thing. I'm not trying to stall. I'm just saying this as a fact. There are times when I'm monologuing to myself out loud of what I'm going to say in the video. And there are times where I completely forget to do something because I get distracted with uh, some of my way dialogue or ranting. But here's something that I absolutely feel like I'm going to forget any moment now. Okay, that's what it was. Dragalia Loss is done. This is the app that's replacing it. I always told myself, once I am done with one of these apps, I'm going to go back, beat this stupid thing. Now, here's my criteria with beating it. There is one boss, one final boss I need to beat. Once that boss is done, I'm done. I'm never playing this game ever again once I'm done. But I may try to participate in bonus games. We'll, we'll see what happens. 
Not good to do well at it. That reminds you, you already know how to line up three Pokemon to attack. But lining up more than three could also be good, right? Yes, I was trying. Example, if you move here, you'll make a match of four. I bet they'll do more damage than a plain match of three. Let's give it a try. I also feel like I'm being babied. So, uh, that's good. So I'm looking over my options. Here we go. Because I'm doing two different matchups at the same time. I like puzzle games, don't get me wrong. The problem is that this one just gets harder to a point where you're spending real world currency to do it. I know I've mentioned this already. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. That's why I need to just get through this without me digging any further into my old wounds. Look, Esper earned experience points for being Bulbasaur. Get enough experience points and your Pokemon will level up and become stronger. So catch tons of Pokemon and make them real battlers. Here's another thing. I, I'm just gonna keep ranting sometimes. With Pokemon Cafe Remix or Mix, however you want to see it, at least that one has charm. It's a lot more cuter. You could say there's some charm for this, but uh... They're just using the same icons from Pokemon Battle Trozy, which I like way more than this game, for sure. And yes, there's the same icons in Cafe Mix slash Remix, but they have these custom animations for all these Pokemon with the cute hats. It just has a lot more charm than this one. This one's masked with cutesy stuff, but... We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Your next opponent looks like it'll be a squirrel. How predictable. Well, are we gonna see Pikachu next? Pretty sure squirrel's a water type. So grass types or electric types should be effective. So you could bring a grass type Bulbasaur with you. That probably would be good. I'm probably gonna make you do it anyways. You'll continue watch, catching more Pokemon from now on too. If you're unsure of which Pokemon to bring into battle... You can press that optimize button, which I have done for a lot of app games, so I know what it means by now. This chooses Pokemon for you to battle effectively against the opposing Pokemon, so give it a try. Boom. You're all set. On to the battle. Try to win in ten moves. Shouldn't be a problem. be able to do more damage but than usual by attacking with the type that is effective against your foe. Line up plenty of Bulbasaur to win this battle too. I'm gonna try not to take too long with... Alright, fine. I'll move it there. Sheesh. Here I am busy trying to find what I think would be the best move and the game's telling me what to do. I don't know if that means I have to make that move or not, but... As long as it's showing me what it wants me to do, I don't think I'm gonna... Well, you know what? Let me... Let me check something. Yeah, I'm gonna move this. Alright, so I can make my own moves. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to just haphazardly try to do something without having a plan. So there we go. Catch that Pokemon. I will try. See, now it's at 78%. Will I catch the Squirtle? It's not guaranteed. But yes, I will. It's a little hard to imagine I won't, but I don't trust this game at all. Like I said, the very beginning, the tutorial, as sad as that sounds... It has the best music out of the entire game. And part of that's because most of the music will be something else. Something else I haven't talked about in this game yet, at least in this video. We haven't yet discussed Pokemon special skills, huh? You 
Each Pokemon has a skill that it can trigger in battle. Special skill. Try to use one in the battle against this Charmander. Let's bring the water type Squirtle, which should be very effective against Charmander. Squirtle's all set. On to battle. Alright, here we go. Apparently, Squirrel has the power of four skill. Sure sounds like you're going to need four of something. I can't imagine what. I spy a spot where you could line up for Squirtle. Why not try moving one of your Squirtle to there? Perfect. Got it in one move. If I don't get 100% here, this game's officially rigged. It's all very rigged, but it will be more rigged than I thought it was. I already know it's rigged. Wow, it's rigged. 75%! I got it in one move! Game! You're upsetting me in the tutorial! This is not a good thing! I mean, maybe it's scripted. Maybe that's scripted. I don't know. I don't want to know. But the fact it wasn't 100% after making only one move already triggers me. Let's catch Eevee. Sorry. I was going to say next is Eevee, but it went in the let's just catch Eevee. There we go. We got four of everyone. Huzzah, I guess. Also, where's Pikachu? What, you gonna throw in Clefairy instead, too? I'm working on it, game. Jeez. One of the things I like about puzzle games like this, not particularly this one, is that it gives me time to look at my moves, try to figure out what would be the best move to make. Game's impatient, it's gonna try to show me moves it thinks I should make, but that doesn't mean it's showing me the best moves. It's just showing me a move that I can make. Ooh, this one's 44%. I might fail this like that shiny Eevee. Go! <laughs> if you don't know... Oh, there she goes. Oh, this is also scripted. Oh, that one got away. Don't worry. You're sure to get it by using a great ball. You usually need some coins, but this one's on me. Yay. So you have to spin coins to get a better Pokeball to try to catch the Pokemon. Because you already have a bad chance of catching that Pokemon. Depending on how many moves you make. Or if this game just hates you. Do you see the problem yet? No? Good. Let's keep going. There's still enough... There's still more things for me to gripe about. And the further into this tutorial we go, the further in you'll see what I mean. Alright, still got time, unfortunately. That Eevee you just caught dropped something. Wow, it's a jewel! It dropped a jewel! get more of those. You need jewels if you want to get things in the shops. Let's go check it out. No, I don't want to. Ah. In the shop, you can exchange jewels for hearts of coins. I've also heard that the jewel shop sells jewels. <laughs> Why don't you use the jewel you got to replenish hearts? What, we're already running out? Oh, we are running out. Oops. Uh, I'm only gonna be able to play this game for so long, guys. Each day. Look, using the jewel adds the heart counter. Let's try to move my face here so you can see things. And a separate counter from the one that replenishes over time. Wow, cool. Let's go in the church, find that Pokemon. Yay. You're not going to need to waste coins on those power-ups. I'm going to need that way later in the game. 
Uh-oh. Ooh, tricky. The foe's trying to disrupt your moves with that rock. Because flying types throw rocks at you, don't you know? It seems that whenever this number here reaches zero, your foe will do something to disrupt you in your play. You can see the number, barely, but it's there. You'll have to pay attention to your opponent as you move. Break rocks like this one by making matches beside them. Alright. Again, I can make a better move. I'm better than you, game. I'm better than you. What would she think about that? <laughs> uh, I can get too cocky sometimes. All right. What are my chances at Pidgey? Almost 100%. There's less of a chance of it failing, but could still happen. You've played the Pokemon game before, right? Even throwing an Ultra Ball at a level 40 Pokemon doesn't mean you're guaranteed to catch it. That's just one example. Togepi! Yay! I'm gonna pretend I care. <laughs> I like the Togepi with the hat in my cafe more. With Baltrozy, I know it's weird to say this, but with Baltrozy, oh, they changed the music. Oh man. Well, uh, I guess the fun's officially over. I mean, the music doesn't sound too bad, honestly. I do like this tune. Because I can actually hear it right now. I'll get back to you on that. Because of course I will. Uh, yeah. Put that there. Ooh, shoot. I messed up my own move. That was my fault. That was my fault. I second guessed myself. I was looking at a different move. And then I chose to do something else. Okay, I just need to make the move. I only need one more move to take down Togepi. But... I screwed that one up myself. That one is for me. That one's my fault again. So if I don't catch this Togepi, that's all me. But luckily, I guess the game's gonna be a little merciful. It's the very beginning of the game. I do not expect that. To be an ongoing thing at all. Oh, it's a three Pokemon stage. The last slot of your po support Pokemon has a red icon. That means you can only bring three Pokemon to this stage because we gotta make it more unfair. That doesn't happen in my cafe remix, just saying. Let's see. I'm checking moves. Shush. Although it doesn't look like there's gonna be too many other moves I can make. I think it'd be best if I just line up these squirtles right here. Oops. Oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Much better. Almost made that mistake again, but I caught myself. I'm gonna enjoy the very beginning of this when the tutorial's over. But mark my words, I will not enjoy it by the end. I'm making that promise. I'm not playing up for the camera. I'm making that a promise. And I can only hope, as you guys watch these videos, that you come to understand my thinking for this. And who knows? Maybe you might agree. If you don't, that's fine. There's plenty of other Pokemon games that have crossed the line. 
I'm trying not to mention main Pokemon games because that's already something that. Oh no, I know, I know what that silhouette is. Oh, let's just get through Audino first. I don't know how much more I can take of this. Ah! Also, there was a new thing there. Again, don't care. Who is there? When the time comes, I'll look at it later. If the time comes. Excuse me. When the time comes. There's no if. It's when. I guess that's a good move. Yeah. No. Actually, that was. Sometimes I'm not looking at what other combos I could get after I move something. I mean, I guess I'll just keep going with whatever they're suggesting. Because the game's right now for the tutorial programmed and encouraging me to notice these moves for when they don't help. I don't think they're going to keep showing me which moves I can make later. Woo! Yay! Because I listened to them for once, I actually am guaranteed this Audino. Could be scripted. Especially when you see what comes next. Okay. Let me... Let me describe this. I have no problem with Mega Evolutions. Absolutely none. I am fine with these gimmicks that have been in Pokemon games since X and Y. But I'm not fine with this, and you will find out. So the next Pokemon you'll face is a bit different from before. It might resemble Audino, but look closely and you'll see there is a difference. I wonder what it could be. Well met, fellow trainer. I hope you won't mind if I ask you for a bit of a battle. After all, it's common sense for Pokemon trainers like us to expect a battle whenever our eyes meet. Win against me and you'll get your reward, a Mega Stone that allows a Pokemon to Mega Evolve. So, what do you say? I say no. But that's not what the game's gonna let me do. It's not a bad deal for you. I'll be waiting for your challenge. Did you hear that? About Mega Evolution and Mega Stones? Not sure what it all means, but it sounds pretty good. So beat that guy and get your hands on the Mega Stone. Sure, whatever you say, Mrs. AI. Alright, this is going to be the last one for the video, I think. Go Mega Audino! Okay, this music's good. I will say that. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon Bout Revolution, actually. It's been a while since I played this game, so there's some things that I may have forgotten about. So... That much is pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna do that, actually. I was looking over my other moves, but... That definitely looked like the bear move. That... Um... I mean, again, it's suggesting things to me. Although I don't like that suggestion. Hold on. Let me see if I can outplay the game again. I see one where I can make two different moves at once, but... Aha! This will get rid of both of the rocks. Um, let's see... Sorry I'm making this last a little longer than it should be. Okay, there's the double squirrel there. Except it's not double, it's quadruple? It doesn't matter, I can match five. 
And I'm trying to see if I can find a move that would work with that. Good thing I'm not on the time limit. I'll just say that much right now. I should just make a move. Just know I would have tried to match up all of those Squirtle at once. So I think that would have been a better thing for me to do, ultimately. There we go. That one was pretty good. Okay, one or two more moves and I should be done with this. Once again, I'm just looking for a good opportunity. There. There we go. Victory! Unfortunately, I didn't get any more extra moves out of that. But I don't think I'm trying to catch Mega Audino. All I had to do was beat it. My, we were indeed well met. You're a strong opponent. Here's your promised reward. An audio right for you. This is a Mega Stone that can only be used by Audino. Mega Evolution lets Pokemon draw forth their fullest powers. Being able to use it will surely help you on your journey. Now I'll be on my way. They're just gonna be silhouettes, guys. There's only one person that looks like a person, and that's the person that's babying us. Let's try using that Mega Stone right away. Oh, now? Okay, cool. I asked that trainer how to do it. Here's what he said. Only your support Pokemon set in the first position seem to be able to Mega Evolve. And if you don't have a Mega Stone for a certain Pokemon, it won't Mega Evolve even if you say in the first position. The Mega Stone you just got was Audionite. So that means let's try putting Arno in the first position. Oops, ignore me. I'm trying. It's a p already there, huh? Try to give it a whirl. Well, I'm gonna optimize anyways. There goes the music, guys. But wait, it gets worse. So I think we can agree that so far, oh, they're gonna use that theme. Awesome. I did hear one other thing from that trainer you bowed before. He said to match Audino until this gauge here fills up, and that's how you get to trigger Mega Evolution. Every time you match up three of the Mega Evolved Pokemon, you'll trigger that Pokemon's special Mega Effects. It's showtime! Watch me get more sour about this game. Just watch. It will happen. But first, I'm gonna take too long to make a move again. Fine, I'll do this. It's what the game wants anyway, so I'll just let them choose where I move everything. Yeah, that was awful. That was an awful move. Alright, let's just get freaking Mega Audino. As soon as I figure out what I'm doing again. Whatever. Yay! There it is! Hear that music? Get used to it! It's the only music you are going to hear for the majority of the game! I tried, guys. I tried, but this is all very ticking me off. But whatever. This is the music you're gonna hear the most in the entire game. And I'm so sorry about that, but... Can't be helped. None of this can be helped. It just goes downhill from here. 
But anyways, let's just get through this. That is a very strong happiny. It's kind of driving me a little insane. Come on. I don't want to fail this. Just three more moves left. Thanks, game. Oh my gosh. Alright, we should be able to get in one more move. I'm just trying not to listen to the game so I can make... Oops. Yeah, no, I saw that. Try not to listen to the game so I can make the better moves here. There we go. There's only one move left, so... We are not guaranteed this happiny. Not at all. I could just continue to make the same moves the game was telling me to make, but something was telling me that I wouldn't have won if that was the case. 55% for Happini! As a bonus chance, we'll see how many Pokemon I can catch with only Pokeballs. So no. I need those coins. I need those coins. I need those coins. I'm not going to waste some trying to catch these Pokemon. I need those coins. Eventually, I'm going to need Pokemon that have a certain typing. Um, so I can take down stronger Pokemon that are weak to that typing. But I don't think I need to worry about that yet. Those Mega Evolution effects were awesome! That's your opinion. It looks like it will come in handy in lots of future battles, too. Oh, but wait. A bustling place just appeared. You can meet rare Pokemon there, I hear. There are some periodic events as well. You can drop by if you are interested. And one more thing. This box is where you receive special gifts sometimes. I should go so I can write my report on your achievements. Thanks for letting me shadow drop you like this. I hope you'll get the chance to me again. You can use the friend system when any other people who care play this. You can send mini hearts. Huh. Okay, so I guess that's like Cafe Remix. But come on! Who's playing this anymore? If you are, I guess let me know. Actually, this is new. Oh, they got a login bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's new, actually. Um, I think the company that made this was very well aware later on that they kind of screwed up. So I think they created some new things here. Got five extra hearts. You can get this reward. Move plus five. And I got 500 coins. They're trying to be generous. I, I see them. I see what they're trying to do, but... What? No, 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 no. I don't want to purchase jewels. You were just trying to make me click that. I was, that's all I was doing. I'm not going to purchase jewels. Oh, gosh. Then there's this. Uh, what do we have here? You can now use mission cards when you play. If you clear the various missions described on these cards, you can earn stars and earn rewards. Select the card you would like to attempt and tap choose card. If you would like to try a different card, you can flip between cards and select choose card again. If you haven't selected a particular card, then you will not officially clear it even if you fulfill all of its required conditions. Oh, that's good. Oh, shoot, I've been recording longer than I thought I did. Dang it! Okay, I'm gonna have to connect those videos. Make a combo of ten or more matches. Three matches. Three matches of four. Yeah, let's do that one. Meet the condition. Sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, did... I forgot. These are all individual cards. My bad. Uh, does it say when I've cleared a mission? Oh, I guess it does. Because that's how many stars I've earned. Whatever, I'll just go with card one. 
but apparently there isn't any other special events happening. I don't know if that means that service is kind of done for this game. But I guess we can take on Meowth. A chance for coins. A mighty rich Meowth has appeared. The more coins that you match, the more coins you will receive after clearing the stage. Well, that sounds promising. Alright, well, let's go for it, I guess. Oh, hey, it doesn't require any hearts, too? Alright. Finally! Oh, gosh. And it's coming back to me. More of the bad music is coming back to me. Jeez. I hope you guys will forgive me for how much complaining I'm doing. But I... I just can't. I can't with this game. I absolutely can't. Okay... I'm going to put this here. I think that is the better move. Let's see. It's still suggesting things to me. Gosh dang it, game. I am trying to match up more coins, though, but... That kind of helped. So... It's not like I didn't get anything out of that. And... Mega Audino! Now we can listen to this music the rest of the time, which may not be the worst thing right now, but... <laughs> uh, hi. Alright, that didn't work out very well, but if I do this... We can get some extra Mega Audino stuff happening. Yay, I think. Okay. Why do you want me to do that? No, I'm gonna do this. So then I'm matching a coin icon. That apparently wasn't a good thing to do. How about this? No? Alright. There goes Meowth. I don't know if following the advice would have given me more coins or not. But it wasn't bad. 3,200's not bad. Victini? Oof. I'm not even gonna bother with Victini right now. Uh... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I can complain about a lot of things. Why? What do you want now? Yes, you have lots of cards and it's going to make me vomit. But I don't care why there's an exclamation mark on the screen. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop, guys. This is the first video and I'm already to my limit. I'm gonna stop. That's gonna be it for the first episode of this Terrible decision I've made. How many episodes will it take for me to finish? That's a community question. I dare you to answer it. But I gotta stop. So, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I'll catch you later.